on. Alan Steph. Hey, thanks so much, Maria. You know, let's face it. We've always thought it's all about us. So we've been a little Earth-centric for the last 30 years here on the Weather Channel. Well, we want to start something new called A View from Above. It's our look at what's going on in outer space. Dave Malkoff has a fascinating look at how scientists are studying weather on other planets. You're watching the Planetary Weather Channel. Now, if there was such a thing, we would have no problem covering weather all around the solar system. Here's your forecast for Saturn and the rest of the gas giant region today. There is a big storm on Saturn. Oh, yeah, and it's totally different uh, from what, what we're used to on Earth. We asked Caltech professor Andy Ingersoll to serve as our meteorologist beyond the meteors. Now, normally, Saturn is a quiet place. And then it suddenly erupts in a giant thunderstorm and like uh, a thunderstorm that we would yeah, have yeah yeah we we can hear the radio emissions from the lightning take a listen you're hearing the lightning storm on Saturn. The Cassini spacecraft took these pictures of the storm. The lightning bolt is highlighted here in blue. The thing rages for uh, six months and then it quiets down for another 30 years. Wait, you just said this thing rages for six months. Yeah. We don't have any storms on Earth that rage for six months. We certainly don't, no. but there is water vapor on this planet. There's thunder, there's lightning, there's rain. And now you're Jupiter on the twos. Currently on Jupiter, Minus 229 degrees under hydrogen skies. So this is the greatest hurricane of all time. It's been brewing for 300 plus years. Yeah, it was there when the telescope was invented, basically. <laughs> so it could be older than true. Oh, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. What's known as the Great Red Spot is a hurricane that runs on its own set of weather rules. Unlike on Earth, there's no liquid water ocean to fuel Jupiter's spot storm. So it gets its power from deep inside the planet and from eating other smaller Earth-sized storms. Thing, I happen to have the Earth right here. Three of them would fit inside the Great Red Spot. So this is a very big storm. And as far as we know, it has no end in sight. But here, it's easier to forecast the weather. So the Jovian Weather Channel is much easier than oh, the yeah. Earth oh, Weather yeah. Channel. Sure, right. <laughs> Absolutely. At Caltech, Dave Malkoff, the Planetary Weather Channel. You imagine what the Saturn version of Brian Norcross is? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you will. Coming up on Wake Up With Al, the chill you'll face as you head out the door today.